<laughs> that was it. Let's talk about progression. I think this is one of the things that you have to really keep track of, especially in trials riding of how far you've come on your bike and, and how well you're riding and how fast you're improving. And I actually use my bicycle to measure my progression. Now it's actually two days until my birthday. And so I'm thinking a lot about progression this time of the year. I'm thinking about how far can I jump? How high can I jump? And I have kind of this running list in my head of all these different elements so that when I'm riding, I know, oh, I can definitely jump there. Oh, I can definitely get across that. And it makes the whole process easier. It's, it's lighter mentally to ride because you already know, oh, I can for sure get there. You're taking these calculated risks and the calculated part comes because you already know that you can jump that far or jump that high. And so I guess it's almost like this ongoing thing as I'm riding, I'm looking for the next thing to try to see if I can get that extra, you know, inch out of a side hop or a gap or a bunny hop. And so every single ride you're trying to improve obviously, but you're also trying to measure that kind of stuff using your bike, whether it's handlebar height, the length of your bike, uh, sometimes like my waist, my chest, how do I measure out all these different things? And sometimes it's just good to go out on a ride and find where you're comfortable and just put it in your head. For example, I know anything under handlebar height, I can automatically side hop. So if I roll up to a spot, I find a ledge that's under my handlebar, for sure I can put wheels on it. And it's just good to have that in your head. It helps you build your confidence. It helps you push your progression when you find something that's maybe a little bit higher than what you thought you could do. And that's really what today is gonna be about. We're gonna session downtown Portland. We're gonna find new places to do stuff. We're gonna hopefully find some new setups and, and ride all of it and have fun. So here we go. You know, the other thing when we talk about progression, it's not just how high or how far, sometimes it's how many. So for example, these blocks behind me, they've been the bane of my existence for a minute. I've been able to get quite a few of them, but until today, I couldn't make it all the way through. So also not only high and far, but how many is an important factor. How many times can you jump on your back wheel? How many times can you jump on your front wheel? How many gaps can you do consecutively? These ones are extra especially hard because you can't just do a wheelbase and land back wheel and jump again. You have to then scoot to the end of the block, reset and then jump. So this one is deceivingly hard when it comes to back wheel gaps. Not only is it a sizable gap, but you have to land the gap, reset, then get to the takeoff point, which is about eight to 10 inches away and then do it all over again. And uh, yeah, it adds up. It took me so many tries to get through this. And I'm psyched to have this one in the bag. We actually started the session here because I just wanted to get this line off my back before I shot anything else. And it feels so good to be done with it. Ah. <laughs> yes. Let's go, dude. Yeah. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not sure if you can totally see it here, but when I'm riding, I'm actually looking for ledges that kind of start small here and then get bigger as they go on. It's a great way to practice your progression. You start on a small end and just work your way down and uh, kind of keep tabs on which brick you hit. And then you go to the next one and try to go, you know, maybe it's a half inch higher. It kind of depends on the location, of course. But finding these kind of walls where it starts small and gets bigger is arguably one of the best places you could get progression going for almost any trick, up to back wheel or side hops or bunny hops, whatever. So keep an eye out for walls like this that start real small and get real big at the end. It's absolutely perfect. These are a gold mine when you find them. So we're talking about progression in terms of going bigger, farther, you know, whatever. One thing when it comes to progression that I don't necessarily back is going higher and higher when it comes to drops. Like it's great if you can do drops and if you're going to practice drops, you want to develop in progressive drops, getting smoother on your landings and different variations on the drops is I think where the real progression is. If you can do a four foot drop, you can probably do a six foot drop. Of course, after six feet, it gets a little bit more complex and there's little nuances that change it up, but there's no need to go like four foot, four foot two, five foot, whatever. I just feel like there's more opportunity for progression on drops when it comes to variations and getting out of different situations on back wheel, two wheel, whatever, as opposed to like jumping off something big, jumping off something bigger, jumping off something even bigger. You're not really learning that much after a certain height. So if you're looking for a way to judge your progression, it should be about how smooth you're landing on drops and the different variations that you've got in your toolbox when it comes to dropping off stuff. That's what's more important than how high you can jump off something. 
Side note, I actually did make a drop tutorial. So if you wanna learn a couple different variations on drops, I'll link above. So one of the other ways to measure progression, not only using your bike when you come to obstacles, but one of the things you can do is actually make a little high jump bar or, or track one down. This is actually just a piece of PVC pipe and a, a limbo bar set up essentially. And uh, it's got little hash marks on the side here. We can tell how high you're jumping. And you know, it's not as uh, it's not as fun as going out street riding or whatever, but if you wanna just really hone in on technique, really focus yourself to get exact uh, perfection when it comes to height and, and uh, everything like that. This is a really good tool to have in your back pocket. Uh, I actually spend a lot of time side hopping over this bar and uh, well you'll see in a minute why. But uh, these are pretty handy to have if you've got room for a little jump bar like this. You can bunny hop over it, side hop over it. There's all kinds of different stuff you can do with it and it's a fun way to progress, right? So you do something, then you add an inch, then you add an inch and just see how far you can go. Uh, so highly recommended, piece of PVC pipe and uh, Whatever you want here, you could make your own uh, legs for it or you could get like a limbo bar or whatever, but um, this is pretty handy to have. <laughs> that was it. I just PR'd and it's a really important one to me. When I was 18 years old, I added two and a half inches to the world record for the side hop. And uh, I had this goal this summer to try to get back to that height hadn't ridden in a long time. I needed to blow the dust off of not only my bike, but my body. And to be able to knock this one out, it feels insane. I have been just destroying myself trying to get this done and I just side hopped that. I'm, I couldn't be more stoked right now. Yes. I set this goal for myself earlier this summer and actually when I started this channel to, to get back to my previous glory. And as of today, got it done. I'm so unbelievably stoked right now. And uh, I guess the only thing left to do now is keep adding height to it. <laughs> so that's progression, at least for me. You saw my first ride on the bike and, and now I've had a couple months on the bike to kind of get adjusted to it, to figure it out, to go you know up my level on some of the stuff. I've regained a lot of the, the technique that I used to have and, and I'm making progress, which is exciting. Uh, if you're here and still watching this, it means that you also want to progress. I've actually made two different playlists. There's a trials progression and a mountain bike progression. Definitely check those out if you haven't already. Thank you again for watching. And if you haven't subscribed by this point, please do and click that bell for notifications so you see the next one we release. There's a lot of really cool stuff coming. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week. Take it off for a ride, dude. Try to ride. Yeah, go for it. It does most of the stuff. Like I'm not actually the one that's doing it. It's just the, the bike does like the hopping and the jumping. You just hold on. <laughs> oh my God, these plates are back. Piece of cake. <laughs>